Warning, this video may be peppered with salty language and bad puns. Hey everyone, it's Cashew. Today's adventure brings us to Gatlinburg, Tennessee to the Museum of Salt and Pepper Shakers. I've never been here before. I've driven past it a lot of times, but this is the first time checking it out and I'm taking you with me. So let's get started. Our adventure starts here. As you can see, it's the sign of the times. You have to wear a mask. Hey, Pinocchio, cover your nose. I was speaking to the lady who owns the museum, and this is her mother's collection of salt and pepper shakers. Pretty wild. This is a fun one of the Grinch and Max. As you can see, I'm not going to be able to show you every single one, but I'll highlight some of the ones I think are really cool. Oh, this is really creative. This is a nesting doll salt and pepper shaker. If you like vintage TVs, and I do, you'll love these. A good friend of mine has this one. I'll have to tell her they have it. I like the ones that look like vintage appliances. I'm not sure if you can see the washer and dryer in the back, but that looks really cool. Nice hats. What I like about the museum is that they're actually divided and organized in categories, like for example, Native Americans, animals, Christmas, and so on. It's interesting in this case how the salt and pepper shakers are elongated, no matter what the animal is, whether it's a dog, a pig, or a skunk. There are some Amish salt and pepper shakers. I've seen wine bottles shaped like these cats. It must be a very good design for containers. In this case, they're all made of wood. In the second room, they have vegetables, chefs, and transportation. Corn seems to be a popular subject for salt and pepper shakers. My favorite are the ones with the peppers. I have a feeling back in the day, the eggplant does not mean what it does today when you're texting. I like these vintage cars. Of course, I'm sure they were not considered vintage at the time they were made. These are definitely from the late 60s, early 70s, celebrating the space program. For UT enthusiasts, this looks like Brown Betty teapots. This is amazing. She has so many that she has a collection of frogs. Bears. Squirrels. Mice. Cats. Dogs. Pigs. Cows.
and chickens. And for the cryptozoologists, they have the Loch Ness Monster. I really like the Buddha Shakers in the international section. Let's take a step inside the vault. In the vault, these are the more rare and valuable salt and pepper shakers. This is cool and kitschy at the same time. Salt and pepper cufflinks and earrings. These are from occupied Japan. These are really nice Daruma dolls. These are pretty wild looking presidential shakers too. You have JFK seated. Off to the right you have like these teardrop shaped shakers with Eisenhower on them. Behind Eisenhower, I don't think you can see, there's Carter. And of course, off to the left, Reagan and the Kennedys. This is my absolute favorite of all of them, the Beatles. I showed you the Loch Ness Monster earlier. Here's Bigfoot and the Abominable Snowman. These shakers commemorate the eruption of Mount St. Helens. In this case, there's a lot of pop icon figures and cartoon characters. Do any of you know the name of Quick Draw McGraw's sidekick? And now we exit through the gift shop. That was a great museum, and the lady who owns it, Andrea, she's a very nice lady. If you come here, tell her Cashew sent you. And if you're a Doctor Who fan, you know what I mean when I say this place is like the TARDIS. It looks small on the outside, but it's large on the inside. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to like, subscribe, ring the notification bell. And until next time, this is Cashew, signing off.